election season can be a fruitful time for local councils to stick their hands out and plead with prospective governments to turn on the taps for their part of the country. With Labour and the Conservatives both keen to spend big, and prove to voters austerity is over, this may be the best opportunity in years for key projects across the country to procure funding. However, for Sadiq Khan it looks like City Hall has been given a yuletide lump of coal from both major parties' manifestos. When examining three of City Hall's largest priorities, social housing, transport for London, TfL, and vital infrastructure projects, it could be argued London has been somewhat neglected in this general election campaign. Transport for London business advocacy group London First said there were three key transport projects that would boost business confidence cross rail 2, HS2 and Piccadilly line upgrades. These long mooted projects remain unfunded and uncertain. Despite the cacophony or rallying calls from London lobbyists. London First also emphasised the need for widespread tube modernisation and a firm funding commitment for the Bakerloo Line extension, which would see the line extended to Lewisham. The London Chamber of Commerce and Industries, LCCI, Director of Policy Sean McKee said upgrading London's public transport would provide wider benefits for the UK. London is the economic heart of the UK, driving trade and generating tax, and the supply chains of TfL. Heathrow, Crossrail etc. provide contracts and employment across regions, he said. However, it would seem neither the Tories nor Labour have heeded London first saw the LCCI's advice. The Conservative manifesto pledged £100 billion in infrastructure spending, however all the projects earmarked for funding so far are located in the North and in the Midlands. On Tuesday, the party also pledged £4.2 billion for a spate of public transport projects in locations such as Liverpool, Manchester, the West Midlands, Sheffield, and Newcastle. TfL, however, was not included in the list. Labour, meanwhile, mentioned London just three times in its manifesto and has planned all of its transport spending north of the capital. Northern Powerhouse Rail has been given a firm commitment. But Crossrail 2 has been left on the shelf. London First Chief Executive Jasmine Whitebread said there was no reason why it had to be one or the other. Playing the South off against the North doesn't work, she said. Now is the time to invest across the country and bring people together, not drive them further apart. Housing the Mayor of London was elected with a mandate to embark on a mass social house building program which he declared was his number one priority in office. He was given £4.9 billion over four years in 2018 for his program, with a view to building 116,000 affordable homes by 2022. However, he has since said it wasn't close to enough tea for more on this story. Visit the news article link.